I've said time and time again that the Skoda Lora is one of the best value for money cars that you can buy, especially if you want to get into tuning. But the thing is that car has a Gen 2 E888 and it's almost over 10 years old now. So the next best thing is the Octavia Mark III. Now this over here is probably one of India's fastest front wheel drive Octavias. It does 13 seconds flat at a lot of drag racing events and actually it's done a sub 13 second time as well with only front wheel drive. And I'm going to tell you about this insane build today. Without further ado, let's get into the thing that you guys want to know about. What sort of setup this car is running. This over here is a E888 1.8 TSI Gen 3 engine and it's making 318 wheel horsepower and 400 Nm of torque. How does it do that? Well, it has an APR carbon fiber cold air intake, it has a DO88 intercooler, it has a downpipe and exhaust system which has been custom made by AM Exhaust. And it's running an IS38 turbo which has been manufactured by CTS. And it of course has an RTMG Kevlar race clutch just like my car because all of this power can't be put through a stock DQ200 transmission. It's also running sticky PS4 rubber and yep, this thing can do insane quarter mile times. Uh, these boys have been able to clock 13 seconds flat at multiple FMSCI approved events. Yep, I think I can say that this is one heck of a fast car. This thing is an absolute monster. <laughs> the KW suspension gives it the handling that it needs and the the way the car sounds, the power that it has is just insane. This is all that I would want my Octavia to be. It's one of the nicest Octavia builds that I've driven. Like I said before, I'm not a big fan of the all-wheel drive system in these Octavias because I just feel the drama gets lost. It's just too fast. It becomes too boring. It becomes very sedate after that. You know it's a very, very fast car, but there's no excitement level as this anywhere near the throttle and it just goes all over the place so you have to have some sort of skill to tame this thing now I'm with traction on I drove it with traction off and I think so that sort of power on these roads is just a little bit too much and the KW suspension just helps in maintaining that grip and in the corners it has loads of stability and just the way it goes down a corner the stiffness is just perfect. Now these boys haven't changed the suspension setup ever since uh, Ambi Valley. So it's pretty stiff right now and that's why it has no body roll. But again, this is KW's uh, adjustable suspension. So the stability that it gets is really, really nice. The thing with the IS38 Turbo is that uh, all of the power is mainly in the top end whereas in my IS20 car, uh, most of the power and the boost of the car is in some of the lower RPM. So this thing, once it gets into the higher revs, it just shoots off into the distance. And uh, with the exhaust system, with the CTS Turbo, with the downpipe and all of the other mods that these boys have done, this thing is insanely fast and I think so at almost every event that this car has done uh, it does a 13 second flat in the quarter mile which is absolutely wild now this thing is running TVS's stage 4 TCU tune so you might be thinking what is a stage 4 tune well uh, it actually means uh, TVS has removed all torque blockers that are there in this car. So the DQ200 has quite a lot of torque blockers which limit its performance heavily. But uh, TVS completely removed them because this thing is running an RTMG Kevlar race clutch just like my car. And yeah, I've heard the stories about TVS tunes, especially the uh, TCU tunes. And 
they totally live up to their expectations because this thing the way it shifts the downshifts the responsiveness is just different i mean my car is pretty responsive but uh, the shifting speeds of this car is very very different and uh, especially in launch control just the way it shoots off it's just different check this clip out So this build has been done with a couple of different garages involved. Uh, so the TVS maps, the Stage Three custom map, the Stage Four TCU map, and all has been sourced from Autosyke, and the remapping and everything has been done at KS Motorsport, and also some of the parts have been fitted at N1 Racing. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty thorough build, and the Stage Three TVS engineering map also is pretty pretty potent. uh this thing was able to make 318 wheel horsepower which is absolutely nuts so let's just stop to the side and uh, see how this thing looks because there's a lot of things in the looks department as well ah that was quite the exciting drive now talking about the looks as you can see this car has a special paint job this is called Porsche oak green metallic and it looks absolutely stunning on this car. I am in love with the way this thing looks. It's of course running a really nice set of Lenzo Jaeger Dyna wheels finished in this bronze color and this uh, paint scheme and the wheels and everything just combine together to make it look really really classy. Now as you can see at the rear it's running a diffuser as well just like my car and it has a quad tip uh, exhaust setup. and uh, with the kw coilovers it's like very flush fitment right down to the ground and i just love the way this thing looks it looks absolutely stunning now of course it's not running a vrs bumper like my car but i'm not complaining it looks super sleeper and i'm pretty sure if this thing comes at you you can of course hear it first but if you don't know what it is i think so you should stay away from it this looks absolutely insane I think the Octavia 1.8 PSI is one of the best ways to go fast without spending a lot of money. Now don't get me wrong, mods, maintenance and all of that is not cheap per se, but relatively to other cars and the way this thing can just make power with a bunch of basic mods, it's just insane. And I think so without a DQ250 or an all-wheel drive system, you can still go fast in Octavia 1.8 TSI and this car is a testament to what I've just said. This thing is running a DQ200 transmission without any all-wheel drive system. So, running completely fine and it does insane quarter mile times on the drag strip. So, I think so if you're looking for a car that goes insanely fast and you don't have the money for a full fat VRS because let's just say it out loud, VRS prices in the used car markets even to this day are ridiculous. Your best shout is an Octavia 1.8 TSI and this thing actually does better quarter mile times than a lot of VRS this that I know. So, thank you so much to the owners for letting us do this video. Uh do follow us on Instagram and check out PDH Classifieds if you want a cool tuner car like this. We have a lot of Octavias, Jettas, uh RS cars and a lot of other stuff available over there so do check that out and yep subscribe to the channel comment down below what you thought of this insane build and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 o